Hey, 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 welcome back to the update here. Uh, the TACT update today is going to go over the concluding battle of the year with Dark Mount Gaming. I just got the update from Straxus before he went off to bed, and from the rest of Dark Mount Incorporated. The first half of the clan battle, which is going to be taking place on War for Cybertron, not Fall of Cybertron, is going to be on Wednesday at a designated time, which I'm going to go, go over with tomorrow or tonight if I can hear back from him. And the second half of the battle, which is going to be on FOC, is going to be on the Saturday coming. And that's where I can update AK, Sazax, and Moonwalker about that update. But for the first half here, Atlas Obey had already designated his spot for this part of it. And I'm giving that spot right to him. The other two spots, if it's going to be a four on four, I'm trying to go over that now in order to get my or get my affairs in order and go over all of the game modes and who's going to be doing what roles. Now the prerequisite to this was that just as a precaution and want to make sure, just check everything on my end in order to make sure that everybody's playing legit here because with War for Cybertron's current playability status a number of players do either have glitches or have mods and we want to try and be sure check across the board that some players some of my players don't have those things because they have had them at one time or another glitches they have had glitches at one point or another I don't know whether or not some of them are modders or if they are or if they have mods active but the thing for this battle is that mods cannot be active in any way shape or form or even seen so guys if you're playing for tact please make sure to have that off if you have it don't or disengage it all together I don't want that active and none of Darkmount wants that active otherwise it could be an automatic DQ because it questions present legitimacy of your of your character outlines or whether or not you have anything changed or whatnot. I know most of the time if you have just normal color mods or uh, or just whatever it is that just makes the chassis look nice that's fine but for this for this whole clan battle I ask strongly that you turn that off because I don't want an automatic DQ the second the match begins all because you guys wanted to just mess around with with mods active just I, just I ask that you don't have those active. Also, whether or not this is going to be a 3v3, 4v4, 5v5, I'm not sure. Because you also have to take into consideration, and I also have to take into consideration, how many players that do still actually have this game. Because we're talking about a six-year-old game that's endured the test of time with a lot of different fan bases and a lot of different people and that's had an astronomical amount of popularity go down due to the amount of glitchers, hackers, lag switchers, and now modders that are encompassing a lot of the lobbies that are ruining the gameplay. And so if anybody's left or if anybody's still interested in even playing this game anymore, that's also something I have to take into serious consideration. And if need be, I also need to adapt accordingly as such to what whatever options I have available to me going into this. All the game modes and everything set, I already have everything set to go for him and his crew. It's just a matter of whether or not the rest of me and my friends are all ready to go on our end. That's what I'm going to spend the rest of my time taking in, into consideration as we get started into this. In light of the fact of non-privacy issues and anybody can sign into the lobbies at any time, whether or not it's public or private, I ask anybody that's on any of our respective friends lists to not be a part of the clan battle unless you are of both either designated groups. I ask you nicely ahead of time in order to avoid controversy or drama. If I have to tell you while you actually load into the match after I already said this, I'm going to automatically delete you and block you, and that'll be the end of it. Anyway, Rodimus Prime out.